Oh, yeah. So writing prescriptions for pain patients is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> All right. So let me get this straight. You went into the ER on the 28th. You had a ruptured ovarian cyst. They gave you a total of five Norco tablets. Mm -hmm. And they so said that you had to see Dr. McMahon. Yes. On the 26th of February, which is about four weeks from the time you were seen. Yes. And they gave you five pills. Total mm -hmm. five Norco. Five pills. Yeah. And, I, and they told me to take one to two every four hours. So I was like, that's going to last me uh, not wow. even a day. Yeah. Like, and they didn't help when I took one or two. So I was like, and then they told me I couldn't take ibuprofen with it. So I was like, well, what the hell are you guys expecting me to do? And I complained a little bit. I feel like that's why I was sent here. The island of misfit toys. That's us. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh, no, so we decided that on the 19th, that we were treating for an abdominal abscess or diverticulitis, mm -hmm. and we gave you Flagyl and Cipro and sent that to Shopco. And what happened? Um, they only said they had two of the antibiotic like pills in. Two pills? Yeah, two pills of the Cipro. And then I um, ended up having to drive to Missoula, so then I had to stop. And I didn't have, obviously, the full dose to finish all of it. So then I had to completely stop all of it, and now I have to restart everything again. And that was uh, 12 days ago. Mm -hmm. You should have been on that that whole time. Yeah. That's weird. Thanks. So you went to you went to Kmart. Yeah, they're and they, out. they didn't have the oxycodone. Everybody's out. Yeah. Safeway. Uh, we had to go to Townsend. So so you went to Kmart. Kmart. Everyone's you know everyone's Costco. Went. Costco. And the Costco people sent you away because it said Kmart on it. So right you, on the corner thing. Yeah, like, 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 like what I do on every case. Yeah, so you can fax it. Yeah. And then you went to um, Safeway. Safeway said that they're out. Hey, oh, look at it. It's the end of the month. Everybody's, I mean... So I, you went to Townsend to get the prescription filled. Yeah. They had it at Costco, but they wouldn't fill it because it didn't say Costco on the corner, you know, for, you know. And I was like, that I mean, that's just what he writes. So they refused to fill the prescription yeah. because it said Kmart on it because the original script was faxed to Kmart. Right, right. Wow. Got a phone call from the pharmacy um, benefit manager for a patient who wants me to put the patient on a completely different set of medications. Nucinta and Opana are paid for, but morphine is not. So now I'm interrupted in my patient flow in order to tell the pharmacy benefit manager that no, that's not the appropriate mix for my patient. Now where did this happen where I have to talk to the patient's insurance company, pharmacist, etc., about every medication that I write, particularly in pain patients? There's nothing but obstruction for these patients getting what they need. And I'm up to here with that. Enough. Thank you. So we're still looking for scarcity here. So you went to one pharmacy and during this whole odyssey about looking for, for medications for you, in the one pharmacy where you had everything, when you went to another one because they didn't have what you needed, they're now telling you you can't shop there. Well, yeah, they're, t okay. they're telling me they won't fill my prescriptions because I went somewhere else. But they didn't have what you needed. Right. Walmart didn't have them. Mm -mm. Neither did Kmart. didn't have them. This is shop cut that we're calling. Hi. Um, the pharmacy crawl. All right, so we, we prescribed uh, Percocet for you, and Walmart didn't have them. Walmart didn't have them. Then, then, then where'd you go? And then we called Kmart, uh -huh. the secretary. They didn't have any. Okay. And then Shopco did. Okay. Alrighty. And you didn't try yeah. Safeway or any other places? No. Okay. Great. So three different pharmacies just to get one prescription filled the other day? Right. Okay. So really what we're talking about is when we prescribe something, there's no one really managing it. There's no person really in charge. It's like your medications are stored in some dark basement without a light on, and you go and see if you can find any, and you go on a fucking scavenger hunt. And this is no way to run a medical system, that's for sure. All right. 
at Kmart, right? Right. Okay, so the pharmacy is right across the store from the jewelry department. Exactly. Okay, they should take those three damn Oxycontin and put them under a glass display with lights on them. Right. And, you know, sell them for 150 bucks each. It's like, they only have three Oxycontin? Yeah. And they want us to manage this somehow? A manageable situation? How is this manageable, you guys? Mr. DEA agent, tell me, how do we manage this? Well, there's something weird in your neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Pill busters. When you can't get your drugs and they're lying to you. Who are you gonna call? Pill busters. I see a skit. Let's do that.